Number 10 asks, name the following compound according to IUPAC rules. The first parts are very simple. This is not a very structurally complex molecule. We want to number the carbon chain. There's four carbons, and we're going to number left to right because we want the substituents occurring soonest. So we want the fluoro and chloro groups occurring on carbon two instead of carbon three. We have some substituents here. We have a fluoro and we have a chloro. Now there is a chiral center, however, and we do have to assign R or S to it. So how do we do this? We're gonna use the kahn ingold prelog convention. So we're gonna assign some numbers here. This is different from the numbering system of the alkane. Now we're just assigning priority to these groups according to kahn ingold prelog convention. On carbon two right there, what would be the highest priority group? Well, that would be the chlorine that has the highest atomic number. And then the second highest atomic number will be the fluorine. Then we have two identical carbon atoms. And so we have to see what they're connected to. This one is attached to hydrogen, hydrogen, carbon. And this one is attached to hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So it's as though two of the hydrogens cancel and we're comparing hydrogen and carbon. Carbon beats hydrogen. So we're going to call this priority number three and this priority number four. In order to assess R and S, we have to orient ourselves such that the lowest priority group is facing away from us. And in this case, that is the methyl group there. We cannot assess RNS simply looking down upon the screen as we are now. We actually have to orient ourselves in the screen looking this way. If we were doing a Newman projection around this bond, that's the orientation we need to envision ourselves in because that is how we get the fourth priority group away from us. And if we do that, then we would see the chlorine up and to the right, we would see the fluorine up and to the left, and we would see the ethyl group down. So we're going counterclockwise S. So this is an S stereocenter. Again, we put the methyl group directly away from us, and then we saw chlorine up and to the right, fluorine up and to the left, and ethyl down. So we went counterclockwise, that is S. It is an S stereocenter, and we know that the functional groups, these fluoro and chloro groups, are on carbon two, so that has to be B, S, two chloro, two fluoro, butane.